Hello everyone, and thank you for joining this T Impact webinar, How a Business Process Management Approach Delivers Powerful Organizational Change and Efficiency. My name is Tim Pynchon, and I'm the Head of Marketing at T Impact, and I'll be talking to you for the next half an hour or so on this topic. So today, we're going to cover four main topics. Firstly, the benefits of a business process management approach and the real life issues this can help you solve in your business. We'll then talk about the technology and methodology we use at T-Impact to deliver those benefits before covering two short case studies on two projects where we've used this approach to identify huge efficiencies for two large organizations. Finally, I'll take a few minutes to tell you more about T-Impact, how we approach projects, the services we offer, and some of our successful engagements. So, let's take a look at the BPM approach in more detail and the benefits it can provide in your organization. <clears throat> now, we break our view of the benefits of BPM into these five headings. Streamlining processes, resource utilization, reduced touch time, improved quality, and improved evidence of control. We encourage our clients to put this diagram in their office where everyone can see it to ensure they are aware of the benefits they can deliver and to measure themselves against those benefits. Now, some of these may mean something to you and some, if not all, probably don't. So let me bring them alive for you with some real life examples. These are problems that you can relate to. And by the time I'm finished, you'll realize that business process management can solve a wide variety of problems you will be facing in your organization. So first, let's look at streamlining processes. Now we think of this as managing input quality, removing duplic duplication, simplification, and encapsulating process variation. But at T-Impact, we like to answer the question, so what does this mean for me? Whenever we're thinking about our services and solutions, we like to find those real life scenarios which our customers talk to us about in almost every meeting and which a BPM solution can really solve for you in your organization. So let's answer that for you. So streamlining processes, so what? Well, what if it means that we can improve the time it takes from order to delivery so that your customers stop venting about poor performance on social media? Does that suddenly make it more interesting? What if your problem is old legacy systems that don't talk to each other? So you've got workarounds in every department and these cost time and money. What if these problems mean that you can't be competitive and respond to market conditions and you lose out to your competitors? Well, suddenly approach where your processes are understood and managed and which can help with competitiveness looks much more relevant and a BPM approach to streamlining processes can help with these and more issues that you will be facing in your organization. Next is resource utilization. We can deliver benefits like real-time performance management, dynamic work prioritization, and critical path and touch time control. But so what? Well, have you ever suffered in your organization when one key person is on holiday and an entire business area grinds to a halt. Wouldn't it be great if you could dynamically move resources around when one department is busy and one is quiet? We've seen this in real life with one client where the key member of the team was away for a week and because no one was working his queue of tasks, the whole process fell down and flags were raised and escalated to senior managers. It's a problem in organizations large and small. Another example is ensuring the efficiency of staff by ensuring they're completing all their work, not just the parts they find easy to do. The next benefit is reduced touch time. This refers to the amount of time your staff take with tasks. A BPM solution can bring in standardization improve the reusability of work, and automate manual activities. So, do you find yourself under cost pressure to do more work with the same resources? I think we can all associate with that particular problem. Something we hear a lot is that my staff are great at cutting and pasting between systems. Well, that's great. 
but they really don't need to be doing that at all. It's a waste of everyone's time when you can automate those processes in the first place. Thirdly, we see processes that are so complicated and that have grown up over many years with waste and handoffs between teams that staff spend all day checking they haven't made any mistakes. Well, that's not a valuable use of time anyway. We can ensure data is collected right the first time and build in business rules to make complex decisions without manual intervention. Our fourth benefit is improved quality. And this relates to the, to the reduction of errors and being able to identify where staff are under-trained and need help with training or guidance at the point of use. So what? Well, regulators demand consistency and robustness in processes. If you don't get it right, you may have action taken against you. And frankly, nobody needs that. You might have put in place an entire team just to check errors and correct problems. This is costing you a huge amount of money and simply isn't needed with a solution that removes errors at source. And I just mentioned money, but we hear so often that customers don't know where they'll find the money to make changes, when the answer can often be found just by improving the process in the first place. Finally, in our list of five benefits, we have improved evidence of control. And this is where it gets interesting. We can talk about automated metrics and dashboards for senior managers so they can see where bottlenecks occur and where teams are outside their SLAs. But how does it manifest itself in real life? Well, is the training that you completed with your staff just three months ago now being ignored and the old workarounds are back in place? You can improve the visibility here to stop this happening. Do you find that people take data and twist it to meet their own ends? They say, it wasn't caused in our department. Look, the data proves it. Well, a BPM approach with embedded reporting and metrics mean you know before they do, and that's powerful. Finally, it can remove the arguments over what are the important numbers. You can have the important metrics to hand and have them visible to everyone. And we've seen this have dr drastic effects on improving the quality of whatever service you're providing. So those are the benefits of implementing a BPM solution in your business, but how is it done? In the next two slides, I'm going to talk about methodology and technology. At T-Impact, <coughs> we have devised a unique process-driven design approach to scaled agile deployment, which incorporates Lean Six Sigma techniques. We analyze our clients' businesses, design improvements, and quantify the benefits this will deliver. We combine this with an agile and iterative de delivery approach, which reduce the risk of failure, particularly the most prevalent risk, change resistance. And that's when staff don't want to change or they don't see the need for change, or in most cases, they're scared of what change means for them. Our teams are typically comprised of business modelers, process analysts, technology specialists, and SOA integration developers who work in small teams to deliver maximum benefit in a short space of time. We use a number of tools to deliver this service and are always looking for ways to integrate the latest technology advances into our offerings. We focus on the outcomes rather than the tools, as the tools add no value on their own. To map, design, and improve processes, we use industry-leading technologies, including IBM BlueWorks Live, SPSS, and JMP. For automation, we have a large kit bag of tools we can use, including business process management suites, which orchestrate the flow of work across different staff in various departments across an organization, like IBM BPM, Pega, and Appian. Once installed, the performance of a process across departments and technology is tracked and reported. We use robotic desktop automation, like Blue Prism and OpenSpan which can automate predictable and repetitive tasks without changing the IT systems they are performed on. No interfaces need to be built. We use business rules management suites like IBM ODM and Blaze Advisor, which can take complex business decisions and process them to ensure a consistent result. And we use cognitive suites like IBM Watson, which is revolutionizing intelligent business interactions and being used in some absolutely cutting edge projects. 
So I've talked about the technology and the methodology. I just want to take you through two short case studies with two of our clients where we've used our approach and our toolkit to deliver phenomenal results. So firstly, the post office. Now the post office has been running a large transformation program to modernize the post office retail network throughout the UK. It's called their network transformation program and you may have heard of it. It featured in a prominent BBC documentary. The problem they're facing is that if you take all the retail branches of the top three UK banks and double that number that you come to, you still don't get the number of post office branches there are in the UK. And that's the size of the problem. They chose to engage T-Impact because there was a gap around true process knowledge and how to deliver sustainable process improvement. We agreed a fixed price engagement to map out the end-to-end -end customer journey for the network transformation program and confirm the cost of running the current process, the efficiency levels, and the opportunities for, the, for an uplift in efficiency, the cost savings, and the opportunities for process improvement, and to create a business justification for an end-to-end -end workflow solution. Ian Kennedy, the Network Transformation Director from the Post Office, was really, really pleased with the work that we completed for him, and identified that we identified 40% improvements on the program that we were working on. This initial engagement gave them a list of actionable recommendations, and it was 239 in the case of this engagement. Now, completing those recommended actions alone offered a 25% cost saving against their current processes. But embedding a workflow solution in the process, the post office can deliver 40% savings for their process. Now, with any engagement like this, the challenge is to understand the culture and ambition of the organization and how we can assure benefits will be realized. As a result, we spent time with the post office before the project started to really understand what they were trying to achieve. And this helped us to hit the ground running and start adding value very quickly. Then we were able to provide in a very clear and concise way what the business justification would be for implementing a workflow solution to reduce costs by reallocating resources to other programs. Now, the second case study is at the world's local bank. And we're now in our third year working on a global transformation program to reshape the onboarding process in the retail bank for customer loans, credit cards, and mortgages. Now, this is a huge international BPM project. We've worked to streamline the processes across countries, embedding IBM BPM as a process automation solution to ensure adherence to process changes. Now, they gave us the opportunity to run a head-to-head -head test of operators using the old system versus operators using the new system. And in this head-to-head -head test, we proved a 42% like-for-like cost, redu cost reduction for the end-to-end -end process. As a result of this work, we won the bank's own Global Platinum Award for the project. And to date, it has been rolled out in four countries with a 70% reduction in rollout costs for each new country we bring on board. We've also reduced the number of customer touch points by 57%. So that's a drastic, drastic improvement in customer service. Before I move on, I would just say that you mustn't think that BPM is just for large organizations. We're currently working with a client with just 28 employees who are implementing a business process management solution to secure the future of their business in a highly competitive market. market. With on-cloud solutions, the barriers to entry have been removed. Most business process management suites even offer a free trial. I'll just take a few minutes to give you a bit more information about T-Impact. We like to think like the child on this skateboard. We're agile and reactive we're highly specialist and we take ownership for the work we do. And above all, we take it personally. We typically get engaged by clients because of our deep specialism and because we're recommended by other clients. We haven't developed a rocket pack yet, but we're working on it. T-Impact has long-standing process relationships with banks, financial institutions, public sector bodies, telcos, and retailers. 
and our services deliver transformational returns for our customers and cost savings, such as a 42% cost reduction, as well as improved regulatory compliance. We're an IBM business partner and our IBM BPM Accelerator assets provide near complete solutions to help support trial and pro production deployments. Three out of the five UK banks use our services and deliver training to deliver training process improvement and process automation. And we have extensive experience delivering complex process improvement and automation projects in multiple sectors. When we engage with a customer, we have a well-defined process for delivering great value in the shortest time possible. We're not about putting 30 consultants on site and taking two years to deliver a project that fails. We call our approach our ladder of engagement. So in essence, we work in small teams with an iterative approach. We can begin with a small project which delivers value quickly and proves the benefits of a BPM solution to stakeholders. We then deliver a complete process automation solution, often in as little as three to six months. Our core services are our business case for change, in which we analyze your end-to-end -end customer journey, enabling you to make improvements in efficiency, profitability, and business agility. We like to use this example of the 15.8 billion that's wasted every year on failed change and technology projects in the UK. Now that's a stat from Gartner, and to put it into context, that's more money than Network Rail spend for their improvement budget for the UK Rail Infrastructure Network in the UK this year. We offer a full range of process automation solutions and have perfected a process-driven design approach to scaled agile deployment, which enables rapid cost-effective delivery. Finally, we will embed a continuous improvement culture in your organization, supported and made real by, by technology. And on this slide, there's another of our great customer testimonials. T-Impact consistently supply an excellent service, both in terms of their time to respond and the quality of the services provided. And that's from Orange Business Services. Here's a quick view of some of our success stories. I'll just highlight one or two for you, but I'll ensure that the deck is sent round to all participants following the call. So at NHS Blood and Transplant, we're working on a fantastic project delivering a life-critical solution which replaces legacy systems, and we're very proud of the work we're doing there. We're using IBM BPM and IBM ODM on cloud to translate a set of business rules around heart and organ transplant into an algorithm to improve the speed and efficiency of the process as volume increases. We've talked about HSBC and we've talked about the post office already. There are some other examples on this slide of some of the work that we've done. Another great quote from one of our clients, Barclay Card. And finally, I'll just end with an overview of the clients we've been lucky enough enough to work with over the last 13 years. We've worked with some really fantastic clients and we hope to count some of you amongst this number over the coming months. So we just have a few minutes before the end of the webinar and I've had a couple of questions submitted in advance which I'd like to take you through and answer. Um, I hope they'll be valuable for you. So there's there's just three of them, and it should take us around about five minutes. So the first question was around a change project. So I'll read it to you. We've been trying to invest in a change project for the last 18 months, but it has been really difficult to get buy-in. What can we do to get something started? And that's from Paul at Vodafone. Well, it's a really great question. Now we can help as a business, we can help you define a potential value case for your project before you commit to spending any money. Um, and how we do that is with our business value case. And it typically just takes three to four hours of time together. What we'll do is effectively work out a hypothesis of what we want to prove or disprove in our, in our piece of work with you. And that we'll do in our, in our business case for change, which we'll complete using a tool like IBM Blueworks Live. 
Now this will ensure that you have a business case with a really hard and firm ROI before you sign off any significant investment in technology. And if anybody's got any more questions along that, please feel free to email me after the webinar. Now the second question we had is from a Mark um, who was asking, he said that we talked a little bit about change resistance, but often we have issues with keeping the changes we've made working with our staff, that keeping the changes we've made working with our staff. Have you had any experience with that? So yeah, and, and it's something, I, I mentioned change management early, earlier on, but it's something we come across all the time. And I, let me give you an example. Um, in one of the case studies I talked about, the, the teams in almost every country have been resistant to change. And there are two things that we've done to ensure that uh, it's, it's a comfortable experience for them. So firstly, I mean, we've already got the solution built. We built it for the first country. It, I mean, it works and we know it's usable in different areas. But what we would never do is go into a new country and tell them we've done all this for them and this is what they need to do. We need to foster buy-in from the team and this is such an important first step. So we'll typically do a kickoff for the project and take time with the key country stakeholders to find out what they want as a system to deliver for them. We steer their thinking and in a, in a, in a series of meeting and kickoff sessions. Now, in 90% of cases, the changes they think need to happen, we've already designed in the solution. We can then present them back the solution they've just described with a small amount of local changes to make it relevant to the regulatory frameworks in those countries and any special requirements. And there you have it. But I mentioned two things, and the second one's this. Once you've designed the solution, it needs to be embedded using process automation. People are great at finding ways around ways of working they'll come up with an Excel fix or, or a way of doing it by cutting and pasting between systems. But if you make the solution real with technology, like a business process management suite, you have the ability to see, to see real-time performance metrics and really ensure the solution you've designed is implemented fully and stuck to. Um, and the third question was just about a tool um, called Microsoft Visio, which we, we come across pretty regularly. Um, and it's we use Visio in our organization for mapping processes. Is there a tool that works better than this? So, I mean, what I would say is, I mean, Visio is one of the most common tools for user process mapping that we see in business today. But really, it's important to understand it. It's just a picture drawing tool. The output it provides is just a static map of your process. And so if you want to make changes or you want to do iterations, you have to then change that. You've lost the original. You know, if you want somebody else, you can't collaborate. If you want somebody else to look at it and make changes, it's very difficult to do you're just sending them a picture. So the value of a tool, a specialist tool like BlueWorks Live, for instance, isn't the map itself, but it's the ability to collaborate between teams and overlay under underlying process metrics like the cost of activities, the cycle time, volumes, et cetera, et cetera. And then the ability to take that information and play it back to stakeholders. Now, we can work with you on a case-by-case -case basis to help you understand the primary benefits of tools like BlueWorks Live for your organization and how they're so much more valuable to you than Visio. So that ends the, the webinar today. Um, I will make sure, as I had mentioned earlier, that you will all get a copy of the slide deck later on, which will include all of our contact details. So if you have any questions at all, or if I can give you any more information on any of the topics we've covered, please don't hesitate to contact me. But thank you very much for joining us today. Goodbye.